what we've done genetically is to reduce those polyunsaturated fatty acids. So we've made the more stable um, oil portion of the equation. So what we've done is, um, if you look in the fatty acid biosynthetic pathway mm -hmm. in the plant, um, generally oleic acid gets converted to linoleic acid, mm -hmm. which then gets converted to linolenic acid. So it's C18-2 and C18-3, and those are the polyunsaturated fatty acids. Okay. And what we've done is to um, block an enzyme that normally carries out that conversion of oleic acid to linoleic acid, C18-2, mm -hmm. C18-1 to C18-2. If you, if you block expression of that enzyme in the seed, I see. then you don't produce any of these polyunsaturated fatty acids that normally get made, and you get this elevation. Ordinarily, it's about 22% Okay. Like, so 20, 20, between 20 to 25 percent of lactic acid is in conventional soybeans. Okay. In this new soybean that we're producing, Flemish soybeans, there is about 80 percent. So it's a very dramatic change. Okay. It's similar. Uh, so olive oil, for example, might have something like 70 percent of lactic acid. Okay. Similar, similar range to, to olive oil. Where there, are, this is where the. Uh, plant tissue cultures are being transferred, you maintain cultures, and where DNA is being shot into um, the plant cell. One step in that, well, it's a step pathway that is known if you stop that, block that, mm -hmm. that you'll accumulate oleic acid instead of whatever the downstream things are. So it's like a conveyor belt. Right. You can stop it, this will build up. So there's a, basically a gene called fatty acid saturase 2 uh -huh. that uh, is involved with the production of whatever is after the leg acid. Linoleic. It's involved with the production of linoleic acid. And so they, they know that enzyme does that step. Mm -hmm. And they know if they stop that, you get linoleic acid. So they have a um, construct, a DNA molecule that codes for uh, RNA. Mm -hmm. That, and that piece of RNA will lead to the uh, breakdown of that RNA, RNA message. The neat thing about the technology that we use in molecular biology is we do that specifically in a seed. So there are no natural mutants for this, so they affect the whole plant. Right. Now we can knock out the expression of that enzyme specifically in the seed at the right time. I see. There's no detrimental impact on the whole plant. Yes. Um, being introduced um, towards the end of this year, beginning of next, um, we're, we're testing with food companies right now. It's a very highly stable oil um, that replaces the 